better than this one. So it is time for my 33 week um, update. Yes, I am doing it from Madeline's room. There's not much that's changed in here right now. Um, still waiting for pieces to come from for our screw uh, for our screw, for our crib. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll just jump right into the update. Not really, it's not, you know, we've been having still the NSTs and doctor's appointments. Um, I did meet with my, um, the doctor who is doing the C-section. Everything was approved um, for me to um, have done for my birth plan. So, um, yeah, and I, you know, somebody put that, it, um, that I'm really able to, like, kind of, like, I'm, you know, um, you know, I basically, I have a lot of control over my C-section, and it's, for anybody else who's having a, you know, having a planned C-section because your hospital um, won't do a VBAC, or you're not a good candidate for a VBAC, uh, I would really recommend looking into a gentle C-section because it is, um, it provides you with the opportunity to be able to say, no, this is what I want. So, yeah. So that was it. That's about it. Um, it's been very hot here. Um, we're finally coming down from a heat wave, but not really. That's why you know I look like crud and didn't even put on makeup because it is so hot. The opportunity Friday or Saturday to try to get some stuff taken off of my list uh, that we need to buy. It's um, for everybody that hasn't really, I don't think, maybe realized. We've, um, I've only been getting maybe half paychecks, a fourth of my regular paycheck. Sometimes one of my pays was only 40 bucks. So we have not been able to get the stuff um, that we really need to get. Um, you know, we have the list of what's, what do we need to get right now, and what's a, you know, um, later down the line type of thing. So, yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so it's about it that I'm looking forward to this week. Of course, doctor's appointments. Um... Well, the doctor who's doing my appointment this week is one that I don't really, I don't want to say I don't care for, but I just, you know, she's not my favorite. Um, she's on Friday, so. Of course, not being able to breathe, um, sweating. I am normally not somebody that really sweats, but I'm like sweating like, ugh. ugh. Um, Tired, fatigue, it, it just, I don't, it's nuts um, for me this pregnancy. So yeah, that's about it, uh, the course of contractions. And it's, with it being so hot, I have no appetite. I'm eating just because I have to. Just and I'm normally like that in the summer. I have I have a hard time eating in the summer because it's just it's so hot. So that's about it. No changes. I'm still down 28 pounds, but whatever. Like I've said before, the doctor doesn't care. Um, she's still growing, so uh, he doesn't care at all. 
uh, he would like to see me go up, but as long as I'm not going down, he's okay with right, it. 33-week belly. Uh, there might be one for Tiny, but I don't know. I don't think so. Um, and then, yeah, Mikey, I unfortunately did not take another picture until, like, the day before I had my C-section. Or the morning of, so. Yeah, I don't think there's a picture. But, yeah, here's my 33-week belly. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, I probably need to do a haul because we have gotten a couple things here and there, um, either from selling some of our old clothes that we have that we weren't going to use, um, or um, just really stuff that we just didn't find in need, have a need for. Uh, the biggest thing. I don't even say biggest thing, it just the thing that we kind of, well not we, I decided uh, to kind of help Tiny with understanding that this is, you know, not her room anymore, that this is going to be Madeline's room, and then of course it'll be Mikey's room, because we're going to um, paint the purple pink. Um, and that's only because I want to try to get her to understand that this is not her room, but then also what we're doing is we're pulling everything off the walls and we're not putting it back up, so. Um, actually, well, no, I lie. I think a couple things might just back up. But. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll try to do a haul for you guys. And, oh my gosh. Holy BFPs. Uh, congratulations to everybody that, like, this weekend got a BFP. Um, you know, I'm really happy for you guys. It's kind of weird for me to think back to last year at this time. Um, I too, at the end of the week, got my BFP. Um, which, I, I think I'm going to do a video for you guys about that, just kind of how I'm feeling. You know. Because our last miscarriage was our probably the hardest one for me and I can do a video explaining why it was um, and really explain to you guys why I really really wanted that one to make it um, not saying that I didn't want Madeline to make it but um, or the one before it just that you know the ones before it's just I thought that was it was a sign you know having you know March 25th as my due date so yeah so yeah congratulations to everybody and for everybody that's still waiting for your BFP I hope you're waiting short so I'll talk to you guys later bye